Hey everybody, Joe here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a number of months since I've shown anything from my Transformers collection, so I thought now is as good time as any to continue on. So this is part four. Uh, part one was um, some of the items in my closet. Uh, two and three were everything on the top of this bookcase here, as well as this one here. And I'll just show some brief pictures of that quickly here. Um, so today, I'm just going to focus on what's on these two shelves. And these are, uh, uh, I've got them just separated in terms of uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron. And these are just some of the figures from uh, those two figures in my collection. So first off, um, I guess I should also show off down here, since these are the only other ones on there. Uh, um, Transformers Prime Soundwave, as well as uh, the figure, in my opinion, that saved, uh, reinvigorated, uh, established the Masterpiece Collection for what it is, I guess, in the past, as opposed to what I consider it now, which is sort of, they're just doing it as a cash cow. Uh, my first MP uh, Soundwave, which I still haven't transformed. <clears throat> Actually, no, this is the third one because we've got the MP Soundwave, MP Sound Blaster, and then this is the Hasbro MP Soundwave that came with the five cassettes. Uh, I wouldn't open up my Takara one, but the Hasbro one, uh, since they also shipped it with the box squished. Yeah. Um, so let's just start randomly pouring stuff off. Uh, these guys shouldn't be on there, but I just put them on there to save some space. These are the um, McDonald's uh, command drawn figures that transform into, uh, you know, like you got with a Happy Meal uh, back in the day. And I don't see a date stamp on it, but they do say uh, uh, Tomi Japan. Uh, Bumblebee chasing Optimus. We'll get him out of the way. Here's one of my MP. MP. Uh, WST uh, Megatrons. This is the one with the red legs on it. Um, I also do have a WST video if you guys want to check it out. And then here is the blue one. Uh, you can tell, not here because it's too small. Uh, the little safety feature here is blue, whereas on this one is red. I think this one I actually bought at my first TFCon from my buddy Eric for uh, 10 bucks. I didn't even know what it was when I bought it. I just saw some little uh, kitschy uh, uh, Megatron. So for 10 bucks, I check him out on Facebook and Madhouse Toys. Uh, this is my childhood Optimus Prime. Some uh, is complete, except for uh, obviously playwear on the smokestacks where they're broken. But aside from that, um, really, really excellent near mint condition, except for the smokestacks. Uh, he's got the gun and roller in there and everything, so. Get him out of the way. Right here. Transformers Prime, Darkness Rising, Transformers uh, Headmasters. Uh, let's go to, let's just clear up some of the shelf space here. Uh, just some books from TFCon 2016, 2015. The uh, Transformer books, uh, Battle for Cybertron, uh, When Continents Collide, Satellite Doom, some GoBot books. Not going to go through everything. Uh, this is uh, Encore Megs. 
And when I went, when I got back into collecting in 2011, uh, me and my buddy M went to was TFCon, and this was one of the two figures that I bought uh, literally as soon as I walked in the door. Walked in the convention floor, we took a right, went down the, the main aisle there. I uh, got this Encore Megs, and I think it's up in part two on top of that shelf, uh, the Encore Bruticus set. So, so they were both together, and I think uh, way back then, what did I pay? 125 No, 150 each. That's what it was. Um, still sealed. You know, how else do you enjoy toys, right? Just keep them sealed. Uh, let's do another Megs. This is uh, the Takara book style uh, TF collection. Uh, number six, Megs uh, book style because if you're not familiar with it, it is um, all the book style ones come with these inserts that could be ripped out and put into a bigger binder displaying all the figures that they're promoting as well as Uh, when you open it up, at least for this one, uh, because of all the accessories, you got Megs with, uh, well, Megs is there, and then these are his, uh, uh, all his attachments to form the big gun, with the silencer, the scope, and all that. This I bought at, I think, one of the 80s toy show. And I talked the guy down to $100, which is a, a super sweet deal for this guy. Uh, still sealed, obviously. Yeah. So I like to enjoy my toys. Uh, let's go to Optimus. So we did uh, Megs for the Takara Bookstyle. This is Prime for the Takara Bookstyle number zero. Uh, rather large, large box. Actually, this. What you want to do, it actually comes like this. So when you're looking for it, this is what you want. Uh, because as I mentioned before, um, this actual thing is basically just a transformers binder. Hopefully there's no glare. Whereby when you open uh, these guys up, this little binder that has uh, ring holes built into it, you'd rip this out, and then all those uh, mini books, uh, forget what the book style collection goes up to, 22 or something, they would all then fit into this one binder. Uh, this guy's one of the more expensive ones to get out of the book style collection, uh, just for <clears throat> just for the size, but you can see he's displayed uh, in truck mode. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for this, but uh, I know it's gone up in price, unfortunately. <clears throat> Since then, uh, what is this? Mystery of Convoy. Bought this at one of the shows. Some more uh, movies. Enter John, Return of Megatron. 20th anniversary special edition. That one's opened. 20th anniversary, uh, still sealed because it has the Future Shop price tag on it, which um, I'll never open this one just because of the nostalgia feature of <clears throat> just like as if you went back to bought stuff from uh, Blockbuster, uh, Future Shop is no longer around. And a couple more movies on there. Oh, and my third 20th anniversary special edition in my VHS. I gotta get rid of one of those. VHS copy of Transformers movie. What do we got here? Hallmark, Hallmark 2015 Megatron. Uh, 
uh, reveal the shield prime. I think my buddy M uh, picked this up for me as well as the reveal the shield Megatron, which actually does transform into a gun, which is why I'm keeping it. And that's just sort of like kitschy little Optimus. <clears throat> what is this? Creole Megatron. Yeah, that's probably why I have it, because it's Megs. This is the uh, Hasbro uh, reissues that they did last year. So that's my Optimus one. Uh, this one is open because I did a review on it. But nice nostalgia feature there. Uh, let's do another Meg. This is a KO one. Uh, the variables. I hope that's coming in. Pistols to robot. Pistol to robot. It's a KO Browning. It's not even, well, it's Browning. It's not Megatron, but I threw it in there just because it's a gun. <clears throat> uh, Browning was uh, one of the smaller characters that was shown in the Japanese version. Uh, frick. Whatever the Japanese series was, I can't remember the name. But uh, it actually does shoot. I think I did a review on this one. It does shoot out plastic bullets. <coughs> uh, speaking of browning, here is... Um, this is a third party browning that was made. Uh, me and my buddy M, uh, when they did these figures, they did a blue and a red one in terms of uh, the interior of the legs. So we both picked up, well, one of each. Uh, one was more, had a smaller print. I forget which one it is. <clears throat> Uh, this is the blue one, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. Comes with uh, environmentally friendly styrofoam, which is always nice. It says Browning M1910 on there. <clears throat> and you saw what the Browning looked like in gun mode. Hopefully nothing falls out. Uh, this is... Don't fall, please. This is in the robot mode. And the sides of his legs and crotch and other little highlights are in blue <clears throat> whereas the red one would just have the red variant in place of the blue and i think for these i don't remember what year we bought them but they were either 25 each or 50 each i want to say 20 i'm thinking 25 <clears throat> and there's obviously a limited run on them. Uh, oh, stupid. Big box of one of the uh, TF episodes, Fire in the Sky. This is when they introduced uh, Jetfire for one episode. And then I think he returned later. <clears throat> there's that. And what is this? Optimus Prime, uh, Metal Earth. It's one of those uh, metal figures that you can, flat metal pieces that when you punch out all the pieces, you can then create a 3D replica of Optimus Prime. Uh, my wife gave that to me for the stocking stuffer. <clears throat> Uh, Hallmark Keepsake 2019, uh, the Bumblebee figure. I don't know why that's on my Optimus shelf. I just probably been too lazy to put it away. Uh, what is this? Game Boy Advance Dodgeball for some reason. Game Boy Advance Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland for some reason is on that shelf. Uh, what was this one called again? Megaplex? I don't remember. It might be the, the official name. Megaplex. 
Uh, let me take a look. Hold on a second. Okay, I was right. Uh, uh, the Takara Encore uh, came out in 2002. This is Megaplex. I don't know. I knew what I, I think I was pretty much accurate with it. Uh, again, uh, so blue bullets and blue on the interior of his uh, thighs. Aside from that, um, oh, and the uh, barrel of the gun is gray plastic as opposed to being chrome. Uh, as per G1, right? Uh, this is still sealed. Don't remember what I paid for it. Megaplex. I want to say I did buy it off of eBay. It was from a Canadian seller. So I wasn't worried about uh, in the shipping. About them uh, cracking it open and putting in that orange plug at the end. Uh, the only reason why I would have bought that through eBay. But... Uh, well, I love it. <clears throat> uh, this is, I think I got this at TFCon as well. My last TFCon that I went to. Um, it's got, it's one of those blind boxes where it's got a whole bunch of mini miniature figures in there. Uh, is it opened? And I probably should have shown this in my WST <clears throat> figures, even though it's not a WST. It comes with a whole bunch of kooky shit. Uh, Hello, cards, a little Japanese newspaper. Uh, happy bath time salts, if you want to try and risk exposing yourself to whatever the hell these things are. Uh, as well as uh, there's actually two optimuses in here. This one does not transform. It's just a little solid figure. And well, I guess this one doesn't transform either, but it is uh, the replica of the Takara uh, O1 Prime box. Uh, Got a little bit of weight to it, so there's got to be some metal in there. But again, just I love these little kitschy uh, Japanese things that you know, blind box or whatever. You don't know what the hell's in there. I, think I paid 25, 20 for that. I didn't even remember this guy was back there. Uh, Hasbro reissue. I'm blinded by the light, so I can't even see what year that was. Uh, 20, 20, 2012. So just another reissue version of uh, Optimus. But what I like, though, is we've had so many versions of him with this trailer, all in one box, appearing as this. I loved that aspect of these ones, even though a lot of people didn't, uh, especially for the price point. Why wouldn't you get the trailer? But this is the only time Prime's been released without his trailer. So I thought that was a neat piece of, uh, you know, spot in collecting history for Optimus. Uh, and this trailer here is also, uh, it's a little lighter in gray color. So a lot of people don't like this. Uh, I don't know. I paid, I, I got it cheap enough, so I enjoy having it in the collection. And again, it's just another version of Optimus. Oh, uh, three more things, guys. I don't know, a bunch of TF comics, Headmasters one. Number two in a four issue, three in the four issue. One with Spider-Man. Hopefully they're not being glared. Uh, I like this one because it showed how Megatron, when a human uh, held him in his hands, he, Megatron could sort of uh, control 
uh, the aspects of uh, your mind. Another collector's edition of Meg's. We'll see what this one, um, I hope it's all coming in. Uh, this one has a black handle with a gray uh, barrel of the gun. <clears throat> Whereas this one, they've gone with a brown handle and chrome, uh, chrome body of the gun and black barrel. Uh, and this one was supposed to be homage to what Diclone? I don't remember now. I can never remember with these mice. <clears throat> and last but not least, uh, one of my favorite things in my collection: uh, brown box. Uh, back in the day, was it '86, '87? Uh, you could do mail near the run, near the end of like uh, some of the runs of these figures. They wanted to get rid of <clears throat> Hasbro wanted to get rid of uh, uh, the excess in their inventory. <clears throat> so one of the ways they did that was by uh, doing mail ways where you would take the robot points, hopefully that you kept from your uh, 84, 85, uh, 86 figures. Uh, you can send that in with a little bit of money and you can order uh, certain figures that you might not have or for whatever reason or for whatever other reason you'd want them and you would get it shipped in a brown box like this uh, to your house <clears throat> i've seen ones that have actually still have the labels there of uh, the address it's being shipped to <clears throat> um, Let's see if I can get this going. Out. I won this on eBay. Don't remember what I paid. It's been too long. Uh, it was an auction though, so I had to uh, had to whip out the uh, show who had the bigger ding dong. Essentially. So, all in its G1 goodness. Um, supposedly never been played with. Uh, never fully assembled because Roller doesn't have its wheels. They're still on the... Uh, or often it's never had his fist taken off the sprue. Uh, there's Roller's wheels still on the sprue. Uh, the missiles are still on the sprue. There's Optimus's gun. <clears throat> so this is the uh, G1 mail away for Optimus Prime. Came with a bunch of goodies here, which I uh, don't bother taking anything out. But to get these guys complete, this is also one of the things you need to look for: the movie edition certificate. Blah, blah, blah. The certificate proves that so-and-so is a faithful follower of the Transformers and the recipient of a special movie edition Transformer. The bearer is a firm believer in the basic principles of Cybertronic Law. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so that's one of the things you want to look for for these uh, movie edition mail-aways. Uh, and another thing that's usually missing is a special instruction that shows you uh, how to get Optimus out of the box because there's a hole in the back in the middle there that you're this tells you poke your finger through that and you can get Optimus out. <clears throat> this normally comes glued uh, taped sorry right there uh, being extremely old the tape has yellowed and yeah it just became fragile. So I threw that in there, but uh, this is one of my favorite primes. And if I ever get into it or decide to get into it one day, there's obviously vari variations. Yeah. 
guess I can show you quickly uh, my G1 original from childhood. You can see it's got holes on the sides because the interior of this one has uh, metal plates uh, with schematics uh, on the side of this, on both sides actually, <clears throat> whereby the original diaclone fi figures that had metal magnetic feet could be positioned on uh, on these metal plates. Whereas you can see with the movie figure, there's no holes. Uh, it does have the same image on the inside, but it is uh, like a sticker. So, and then there's also Prime's fists are different sized. His gun has a different barrel. Uh, roller is actually a different color. There's no one figure really better than the other, though I prefer to have the metal body, uh, the metal plates on, on the G1 original, but uh, just changes that were done throughout the manufacturing. Um, and you could have gotten almost any sort of variant version with this in terms of uh, fatter fists as opposed to smaller fists. It essentially just came down to whatever the Hasbro employees, uh, when they were putting the package together, fished out of bins. So, luck of the draw with that. But, uh, yeah. Probably my, aside from my childhood Optimus, my favorite Optimus, my second favorite Optimus right here. All right, well, let's have fun putting this back together. But anyway, guys, that's uh, part four of my TF collection. I just wanted to show you what's on these two shelves. Got some other shelves to show you, as well as bins that I have in storage. We'll get around to that in the near future. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought that you liked. And uh, maybe we can get into some more detail if there's anything else you guys have interest in. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, please remember to subscribe and share the channel, and we'll catch you guys again real soon with another video.